the organic farming scheme was reopened with immediate effect on Monday, November 19th. The announcement was made by Minister of State at the Department of Agriculture, Food and Marine, Andrew Doyle. Struggling to make a conventional beef system work, County Monaghan farmer Mark Gillanders decided to make the switch to organic farming in 2008. Prior to starting the two-year conversion process, Mark had been running a dairy calf to beef operation on a herd of suckler cows. Converted to organics 10 years ago and uh, started just producing winlands and got more into it and started to grow a little bit of grain and it snowballed and now I'm finishing all my animals and buying in animals to finish as well as growing more and more tillage and I see the tillage is the best part of the farm. The system I was farming wasn't working. It wasn't working. I wasn't getting paid for my hours on the farm and it wasn't sustainable. I couldn't see it being sustainable. The way this, the way it has worked on this farm, has it has made the farm a lot more sustainable. Able, I mean, now able to live off the farm and have no off farm job. The farm entered the organic conversion process in two thousand and nine, and full organic status for both the land and the produce was achieved in two thousand and eleven. The conversion process um, worked fairly well here. It's fairly easy to convert a beef farm. It's probably the easiest system of conversion yeah you're not really limited to producing crops that aren't fully organic you wait until your animals are fully organic you're just buying a wee bit of if you need to buy a wee bit of uh, concentrates organic till you get your animals organic uh, certified after the two years if you're full time or full tillage you would have to be growing crops that wouldn't be fully organic or you wouldn't probably grow the crops until the third year. Um, slightly harder for tillage, but from a beef farm point of view, it's easier to bring the tillage in. Mark's produce is certified under the Organic Trust, and he highlighted both the benefits and the challenges associated with an organic farming system. Benefit, it's a brilliant, it gives you a brilliant interest in farming. Um, really gets you going and really you're able to see what you can do without inputs, without expensive inputs, when you get the system working right and get the soil right, um, you can do really well out of it. Challenges, a few weeds, but a good system of farming, bit of topping, good rotation, a diverse uh, amount of species on your farm is probably the best system you could do. The more diverse your farm is, the more species you grow on the farm, the better you will have your farm. On the farm, the number of acres and tillage has grown over the years, and Mark plans to increase this again next year. The beef finishing enterprise is self-sufficient, and extra cereals are sold off farm. I sell, sell grain from Mullingar to Donegal, and um, it is the best asset on the farm at the moment, the best system on the farm at the moment. And if you can grow grain, if you can grow tillage, there's a vast demand for tillage in Ireland, um, for organic tillage in Ireland. Um, with oats, with wheat, with combi crops, with feeding, basically everything. It's, it's very short um, on grain and if you can do it, it won't do you any harm. Along with growing a range of cereals and combi crops, Mark also utilises forage crop mixtures. I'm certified with the Organic Trust and I grow a diverse range of crops from multi-species pasture red clover, silage, um, wheat, oats, barley and pea, combi crop, uh, forage rape, um, and even try out a little bit of hemp this year. Um, so if you had any advice for young or for farmers going into it, get to a good organic farmer or take go to the organic demonstration farm walks and take a good interest in, in, in what you're going to do and have a thought, have a plan in your head. Mm -hmm.